So I got a lot of questions about how this mask is put together. I want to go in a little bit more detail in this video for you. Uh, the first question I get asked the most is if I can see in this mask, which I can, and I'll show you where. Like you see those two half moons under the eyes? That's black mesh where I can see through. They sit directly in front of my eyes, like very close like this. So it's very easy to, uh, to find vision on that. And uh, if I turn on the lights in the eyes, there's a little battery down there. It's glued in. The mask is all painted black on the inside. It helps a lot with uh, being able to focus on the lighted and colored parts outside the mask and like everything around your rest eye, uh, uh, field of view is black so you don't focus on it. When I turn on the lights, you see a little bit of reflection, but it's not much. So, so it's right under the... I can't really see it up close, I think. If I turn off the lights, you might be able to see a little bit. There you go. So that's the first part about the mask. Uh, the construction of the mask, uh, it's part 3D print and part EVA foam. So the face is one 3D print, printed with standard PLA plastic, which is what you'll see the most for 3D printers. And then uh, the flaps that move around the face are also 3D printed. And these are printed with lightweight PLA from Colorfab. And this is just because it keeps the weight of the mask down. But it's a little bit less structural, structurally strong, so I didn't opt to make the face out of the lightweight stuff, but only the flaps, and it will help with the movement as well, because the movement will not be as heavy, because it's very lightweight. So the mask all together, like everything you see in this picture, is about 800 grams or under two pounds. So that's relatively lightweight for a mask, especially because Part of it is printed in lightweight plastic and the rest of the crown and everything else is made with EVA foam which is super lightweight and you can't really feel it. It's also very soft so it doesn't damage as much if it falls. And so the rest of the mask is made with EVA foam. You can kind of see. And the details were applied with uh, foam clay which is basically very lightweight sculptable play clay that will dry over uh, if you leave it out for a little while, so like two days, it'll dry up and create this lightweight foam clay. Um, yeah, painted. And then uh, I want to show you how it moves. Oh, uh, for materials, the stretchy gums, like this, this stuff, the fleshy zombie gums. They're made with latex. Uh, I made uh, like a texture 3D print and then brushed some liquid latex on it. I could pull it off after it was completely dried out and hardened. And uh, that's how I was able to make these stretchy gums. And about the movement, uh, so each flap is connected by a little like hinge that kind of acts like a seesaw. Uh, you can kind of, let me see if I can open one up. So here's a flap that's opened up. Each flap is, uh, can be removed. There's a little seesaw and it's connected by two strings. One is an elastic string, which pulls the flap back to the mask. And it's always uh, stretched out, so it always pulls it back to the mask. And the other is a fishing wire that is connected with my own jaw movement. So when my jaw opens, the jaw of the mask opens and it pulls the fishing wire line to open up the flap. And then the mask closes again because the elastic band on the other side will pull it back into place. And, and that's how it works. So I got like a fishing line over here that goes back all the way to the jaw. I got a fishing line on this side that goes back to the jaw. And I got a fishing line on this side on the back of the jaw. And that's how... Uh, let's see if I can show you the fishing lines. They're of course transparent so it's a little hard. And that's how it connects. So that's pretty much it. That's how I designed it. And that's how the mask works. Let's see if I can.
Thanks for listening. Thank you. <laughs>